writers, we're going to look at a poem prompt and I'm going to model to you how I can brainstorm and do that pre-writing process for my poem idea. So the prompt says, write a poem about your favorite color in your notebook. Remember to include line breaks, rhythm, and figurative slash sensory language to show, not tell, about your color. So we know when we're looking at a prompt, we need to think about it in the eyes of RAFT, using that acronym. Roll. Audience. It's taking it a second. <laughs> Roll. Audience. Format and topic. The role in this prompt that I am taking as a poem writer, so I'm just going to say poem writer. My audience, it doesn't specifically say who it is. So if I were to write a poem about my favorite color, it could probably be my teacher is my audience. It could be my sister. It could be a family member. So whoever you feel like your audience is, maybe it's just your learning coach and your teacher. That would be who you need to tailor your writing to. The format is in poem. Oop, I spelled that wrong. Um, is poetry. And it tells me specifically to include line breaks, rhythm, and then I'm going to say F slash S language because we know that's figurative language. And this is my brainstorming part right here. For my topic, my topic is my favorite color. So favorite color. All right. So I'm going to be a poem writer today. I'm going to be writing about my favorite color. And I have to make sure when I write my poem to have line breaks, rhythm, and then language that shows, not tells, essentially. So I'm going to think about my favorite color. And my favorite color is yellow. So I'm going to write yellow. And remember, this is me modeling to you my brainstorming phase, okay? So I'm just going to think about all of the things that remind me of the color yellow, which is probably why it's my favorite color. So I'm going to say yellow reminds me of the sun, which is a big thing. I love the sun. I'm going to go ahead and say I love the sun. The reason being is that um, when I am out in the sun, I can do um, when I am out in the sun. I can do things like ride my bike, I can go hiking, I can play sports, I can um, enjoy baking in the sun because I like to just feel the sun beat down on my skin. Um, I can be playing in um, at a water park or even a lake or ocean. Um, I tend to get like popsicles and ice cream. And I'm just going to write a couple more things about the sun. Um, um, ice cream. And then I'm just going to say summer. That's generally what I'm describing there, right? Another thing that's yellow is like a bus, um, which I am a school teacher, so that applies to that. And a lot of pencils are yellow too. Um, other things that are yellow would be bumblebees. I'm not a huge bee person, but I do like the black and yellow stripes that they basically wear. I'm going to think of one more thing that yellow reminds me of. Hmm. I say the color gold and I like shiny things. I thought that's how you didn't spell shiny things. All right. So now that I've gotten a couple of ideas down, remember that I'm going to just write about my favorite color and I'm going to have to do line breaks, rhythm, and figurative sensory language, and I'm showing and not telling about my color. So I could make it where these couple things are different stanzas. Remember, stanzas are like paragraphs describing the color yellow. I'm going to take off bumblebees because even though I think of bumblebees, I don't really like them. Um, so I'm going to take them off. 
Um, so I'm going to have sun, bus, gold. So some descriptive words. I could point out some things in here that make you think of um, that color or that specific thing. So if I'm thinking about the sun, for instance, with the sun, I could say um, shining rays of light. Because um, really the sun you see, you can feel the warmth. So I could say warmth like a blanket on your skin. So right there I'm using a simile on your skin. I could even say wrapping you in warmth like a blanket. Um, so seeing it, feeling it. You don't really hear a sun or hear the sun. You can't really touch it. The best that you can do is, again, that warmth. You can't taste it. So really, I could just describe different ways that you see the sun by seeing it and by feeling it. Um, if I wanted to talk about all these different activities, because um, really all of this is activities apart from where it starts talking about popsicles, for the popsicles, I could say um, that's how you can taste, I guess, the sun in a way or summer in general. But um, I could describe popsicles like cold or freezing, dripping liquid down, you know, a, a wooden popsicle stick. Um, when it comes to playing and I wanted to talk about the sun and being outside and active, I could talk about, you know, the active world um, outside. Um, and then I could specifically talk about maybe riding my bike where the pedals are, you know, screeching or not the pedals but the um, brakes are screeching, the pedals are twirling. So again, just thinking of different types of maybe even adjectives, adverbs to add to these descriptions. So I got quite a few things here I can work with. Oops, sorry about that. Um, and then for bus, I could talk about, you know, the horn and describing the horn and how it's a long squawking sound. I don't know if that's how you spell squawking, but I'm going to keep on going. Squawking sound. Um, the, I could talk about the doors. The doors um, opening for new opportunities. I could talk about how um, sounds are children laughing and giggling like monkeys. I'm just saying something. Um, if I wanted to specifically think of other things that are yellow with school and I thought about pencils, I could talk about their sounds. I'm just going to kind of take that off. And then here when it talks about gold and the shiny things, I could really describe it by um, saying coruscating, and I don't think that's how you spell coruscating, but coruscating, which just means really shiny. Um, coruscating, yellow, bouncing, light, off my jewelry. I'm just, I'm just thinking of things. So, from here, again, I could think of a way to either wrap it up. It could They could be completely separate. I could focus only on one, which it sounds like I have a lot to do with sun. So I would probably honestly just write about this. But, um, you know, I could just describe these things. Each of these things that I like about the yellow and the sun, I could um, 
talk about. You don't have to make it where it's something like that. Maybe your favorite color is purple. Maybe it's pink and or blue and that color reminds you of something like maybe blue reminds you of the ocean and you just want to write about the ocean and how it's blue or maybe it makes you think of your favorite hero um, and you want to talk about your hero and all the blue that goes with it maybe it's purple that's your favorite color and you have a stuffed animal or a stuffy that's purple and that makes you want to talk about it. So in a lot of ways, even though this prompt is talking about your favorite color, you can run with it and write about almost a reasoning of why it's your favorite color. Um, your first line could be even be like yellow, my favorite color. So here, I'll even write that down. Um, yellow, eh, I need more space, don't I? I'm going to take that out because I think that's not going to apply. I'm going to delete this so that you guys can just kind of see. I'm going to make it a little smaller. Um, that way I can make up some room. All right. I could say yellow. My favorite color. Um, shining, I already need more space, don't I? Shining ray, well, that doesn't need to be cowboy there. Shining rays of light, warmth like a blanket on my skin, yellow. So right there, that is talking about my favorite color. Um, and I'm just kind of saying things that remind me of that color. So writers, did you see what I did? I went through and I <clears throat> read the prompt. I thought about raft, the role, the audience, the format, the topic. From there, I was able to determine what I needed to do. And so I brainstormed things about my favorite color, which is yellow. I thought about the sun, the buses, pencils, and the color gold that a lot of times is associated with yellow. From there, I went through and analyzed what I thought would work best for my writing in my poem. I thought of ways to elaborate with sensory language, um, figurative language, so I could show, not tell my reader. And then I began writing a draft of a um, poem for my favorite color, yellow. I played with the lines. You can even see I skipped lines there. And I made sure that it had type of a rhythm to it. Yours can be much longer. It could be as long as this one. This would be a draft. I'd probably play with it a little bit more. But you get the idea of where we are needing to go with this. Remember that you need to write this in your notebook because it says specifically in the prompt. And um, try to be as creative as you can be. All right, writers. It's your turn to do it on the next day. Good luck poem writing.